some good old Ario Speedwagon there. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 6 of Supernatural Season 2, No Exit, and I like this episode. I know some people don't like this episode purely because of how much Joe is in this episode. Even with a little bit of her weak writing, this is still a really well-structured episode. It's scary, and it actually has a lot of great supernatural elements in it, and that's because it's directed by Kim Manners. One of the best things about re-watching and reviewing these episodes has been to see the good directing and the bad directing in this show and Kim Manners just knocks it out of the park every time even if the story isn't that great he still delivers a phenomenal product from its lighting, its camera setup, its horror elements, and its entertainment factor. This is a pretty good episode that just so happens to have H.H. H. Holmes in it. Now this is a notoriously infamous serial killer, the first serial killer in American history technically. And see how they actually put him in this episode correctly, see how they build his ghost lore, see how they create a horror character here, unlike, you know, when they brought Jack the Ripper into season 15, because this establishment, this lore build, this horror, building horror element has completely evaporated from the show. And I love how they do it in this episode, with the ectoplasm coming out of the wall. The camera angles of not full-on showing the horror, not really revealing it, until the very last minute. Like, we see his hands, we see his mouth, sometimes we even see his eyes, but we don't see all of him until the last, last part of the episode. The elements of Joe and Dean are a little bit corny here and there. Joe's character is a bit high-strung, but that's because she wants to get into the hunting. She didn't have the same upbringing like that of the boys with their father. And what's great about this sort of her getting into the fold, as well as working with the brothers and technically being at their mercy, and that's the reason why Helen is so pissed and so on edge, is because John screwed up and got her husband, Joe's father, killed. Joe, having to be rescued by the boys, being bait for the boys, is a complete mirror of that. And then when Joe finds that out, that really changes up the dynamic between the two. Whether you enjoyed the tease element of these two or not, the development between the two is still happening. DEVELOPMENT! Something the show does not know anymore! So whether you like this avenue of storytelling, whether you like the Joe character or not, it is still well constructed because this is how you do it correctly. I like No Exit. I admit it does have a bit of a weak part with Joe, her inclusion, kind of her stereotype sort of aspects of her character, but the episode is still scary, it's still well put together, and it's still a really good Monster of the Week episode. One of the better ones. So in the end, I'm gonna give No Exit a 5 out of 7. I really, really enjoyed it. I am not going to apologize for that. This is a good episode. Now let's see what you guys had to say about this episode in the comments. Alright, so we only got one here from Joe Malia. No Exit was an alright episode. It was basically Joe going on a hunt with the brothers, and that's pretty much it. There's no story progression, just establishing the relationship between Dean and Joe. And the, pro and the episode is just a Monster of the Week episode that doesn't really stand out for much of the season. At least there were some funny, awkward moments where everyone in the Impala and the super quiet because Ellen is pissed at Dean and Sam for lying and working a case with Joe. Now, yes, there isn't as much story progression as there should be in this, but it does more so establish the guilt behind their father. Like, they realize that their father isn't the perfect figure that they kind of were raised to be, and it kind of puts more further guilt on the brothers and their actions. Like, it's not really a, a forward story in terms of yellow eyes and whatnot, no, but I still feel feel that this is a great character building episode for them and it's again really well put together by Kim Manners. Next episode is Usual Suspects. This is definitely a funnier episode. It has some good jokes in it as well as it has Linda Blair. I did not know the cop in this episode was Linda Blair. I can't wait to talk about that. Make sure to leave your guys' thoughts in the comments for this episode below and I'll make sure to read the best ones off for the next one. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.